Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video I'd like to show you how to use a Lucid. This one I got as a gift and I'd like to show you how it works. What we use a Lucid for is to make chords. show you a small example. This chord I've made previously. You can see here I've actually used two color yarn so you can really see the details in the chord. But you don't have to use two colors, you can also use one color. You can also use just one strand. I've again used two strands here to show you a little bit better so that the, um, the cord is a bit thicker. You see here a bit of a square shaped cord. And this is actually very sturdy. If I really pull, this is really very sturdy. And you can use this for different projects, but for example, bag handles is really suitable for. But also, if you want to make rugs, you can get a really sturdy cord for applications like that. You can use thick yarn, can use thin yarn, doesn't matter. Any yarn will work on a lucid. So I'll do. So I'll show you how to make a cord like this using a lucid. We're going to start by weaving the yarn that we're using through the hole of the lucid. Just going to take this through, and you want a reasonably long starting tail so that nothing accidentally happens here. So make this nice and long, nice and comfortable. Now we're going to start by making a figure eight around the two forks. The the prongs of the fork. From the inside, outward and around, coming back over the front of the other prong, then back in again. See if I look from the front, you can see how you've got, from the top I should say, you've got a figure eight happening there. You now want to do, and these first one or two stitches are a bit fiddly, is so we're going to take this yarn here and do, take it over the prong here on the right. While you're doing so, you don't want this to, to slag, so you want to keep this thread um, tight also. So you're going to have to bring this slightly up and over. And I'm just going to bring that back in so that's nice and tight there. Turn the fork around and now again holding onto this the tail here. Here at the bottom of this loop we're going to again take over the top. There you go. And this is your first full stitch. Again, turn the fork around. Now to do still holding on to this thread here in the middle, because especially in the beginning you need to really do that. I'm going to pull my working yarn ever so slightly tighter. You can see this that closes your loop here a little bit. And then again here at the bottom I'm going to take that over the top again. Over the top. Again, turn around. You're working yarn pull tight. While you're doing so, you'll notice that this loop here closes ever so slightly. You don't want to close it completely, so don't pull this too tight that this loop closes. The reason is we're now again going to take the thread here to the bottom and take it over the top. And when you do that, this loop is going to close. You see if I pull this, you see how that loop is closing? I do this over, you see how that loop is now closed. So if you pull this too tight, you, you're not going to get that yarn over there anymore. It's going to be stuck. So you want to keep yourself some room there. Then again, turn around. My working yarn pull a bit tight. Take this here from the bottom and over the top. Again, pull tight, but not too much, because you're going to close it with that yarn over. And this process is going to be repeating again and again 
and again. See how it goes, how you I'm pulling this tight but not too much, just leaving a like a, a half opened loop. And then when I take it over, I close the previous stitch and I make the new stitch. I close that previous stitch and this makes a new stitch. That's the same stitch that I just made. Pull a little bit tight and over. And this makes a very sturdy cord that you can use for many different applications. If you're using a thick yarn, you could for example make a bag handle out of it. But you can also do this with very thin yarn that will actually give you a very delicate cord that you can use for other applications. You'll see what's happening is it's twisting here around my handle. Don't worry about that. That's all normal. And as your cord gets longer, it'll also go through here and then twist itself around and then work its way down. That's also perfectly fine. And I'm using two threads here, mostly so that you can really see what I'm doing, but I mean, it, it also gives you a lovely color effect. And if you always make sure that the same strand is to the bottom, because I'm not really paying attention to that now, but if you always have the so I've got the white here to the bottom. If you always keep the white to the bottom, you're going to have a, um, a very distinct stitch pattern also. So that way you can also control what your cord looks like. You can do two colors like I'm doing now, but you can also do three colors, four colors, five colors. Just depending on how many strands you want to use. You can also use um, all the same color, but then multiple strands and that'll give you a thicker cord. It all depends on what you're going for. Oops, that went a little wrong. There we go. So you can continue doing this, making one stitch after another until your cord is long enough. So I'm going to do so for quite a long, quite a while longer. I'm going to make this a bit longer see it's passing, starting to pass through here. So continue and then I'll show you how to finish this when it's long enough. Let us assume that you're now happy with the length of your cord. This is how much you want it. And cut your yarn. And what we're going to do now is take it off the prongs You've got these two loops here, this one and that one, and you're going to be taking the yarn through both of them. You've got here the loop that you're currently in. You're going to actually not start with that one, but with the, the other one. So it's going to take my yarn through that loop. Yeah and then also through the first loop again and what you're doing, and then you're going to pull everything tight and that's it then you've made a cord and this can be a short one and like this or a very long one all depends on what you want to use it for and that is how you use a lucid.